It's important to remember with Small Business Server that you'll need a dedicated machine to function as a server. Although you can use the server as a workstation, you never should. Programs that are designed for workstations will cause issues with server-based software. So only install server software onto your Small Business Server. We generally find that brand name bundles from people like HP and Dell offer the best value for money. Brand bundles also generally, generally provide you with a good on-site warranty. It is important to check the life of the warranty and whether it is on-site. An on-site warranty means someone from the supplier will attend your business and rectify any problem you have with the hardware. A return to base warranty, conversely, means you will have to take the server back to the place from which you purchased it to have it repaired. Because the server is now so important to your business, we would generally recommend you aim for at least a three-year on-site warranty, if at all possible. When you purchase your server, you should spend a little extra money and get a system that stores data across multiple hard disks. Such a system is known as RAID. This means that if a single disk in the server fails, your system won't stop. To us, it makes good sp sense to spend a few extra dollars and have a RAID hard disk system. The maximum amount of memory you can install in your small business server is 4 gigabytes. If possible, it's always better to have the maximum amount of RAM added prior to implementation. But if this is not cost effective, then we generally recommend you should have at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. Small Business Server will, in theory, one run with as little as 384 megabytes. But generally, we find that once you get your server up and running, the 2 gigabytes of memory will allow your system to run most efficiently. Otherwise, performance will be affected. Another piece of insurance that is well worth the investment is an uninterruptible power supply, known as a UPS. This will provide your server with conditioned power, ensuring it remains at constant levels unaffected by fluctuations. Another benefit of a UPS is that if for some reason the power to the UPS goes off, the server will continue to run on batteries from the UPS. This will continue to happen for the life of the battery in the UPS. When the battery becomes low, the UPS will communicate with the server and shut it down gracefully. The most likely cause of data corruption and problems on a server is when the power is switched off unexpectedly. A UPS prevents this. Another important issue to consider when purchasing hardware is a backup device. External hard disks are one option, but are not generally taken off site. If there is a fire or disaster at your office, then there is a very good chance that you won't only lose the server, but the backup hard disk as well, making recovery almost impossible. Using tapes and rotating the tapes off-site is probably the most effective method of disaster recovery. When you are considering a tape drive, we generally also recommend you consider an external tape drive. Why? Well, imagine what would happen if a tape got caught in the drive unit. If you had an internal tape drive, you would have to kick everybody off the server or you remove the tape drive and clear the problem. With an external tape drive, you can simply disconnect the drive from the server without taking it down and fix the jam. Also, if you upgrade your server at some point in the future, you can simply plug the external tape drive into the new server and start using it. Simple and easy. Sure, an external tape drive may cost a few dollars more, but we think that being external makes greater sense and it's worth the small incremental cost. If you're looking for some good books on Small Business Server, we recommend the following three. SPS 2003, Administrator's Companion by Charlie Russell and Sharon Crawford. Windows Small Business Server Best Practices by Harry Brelsford. Microsoft Small Business Server 2003, Unleashed by Eric Neal. There are also plenty of good websites on the internet dealing with SPS. But rather than go through them here, I'll be happy to email the list to you. Simply send me an email. My email address is robert at satinalliance.com.au Unfortunately, we have reached the end of our brief introduction to Microsoft Small Business Server. There is just so much we could talk to you about. Things like creating users, workstations, configuring backups and monitoring, as well as connecting to the internet. We also mustn't forget things like antivirus and keeping your server up to date. Provided there is demand, we plan to develop additional audio programs on these topics. 
So if you're interested in further material about Small Business Server, again, just let me know. My email address once more, robert at satinalliance.com.au. We hope that you've gained some insight into exactly what SBS is and what it can and can't do. We hope that we've given you some inf information that will assist you if you are looking to install an SBS system. Remember, if you need assistance, support or training on SBS, please don't hesitate to contact us here at Saturn Alliance on 1300 85 7715 or just email info at satinalliance.com.au As a special offer to you for downloading this audio program, we will provide you with a free two-hour technology assessment including a written report. This is normally valued at over $240. So please contact us here at Saturn Alliance to arrange for your free assessment. Once again, our phone number is 1300 85 7715. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation and we wish you every success in your business.